Next, I got WrestleMania 31 from 2015. Oh, yeah, I watched some of the WrestleManias. Ugh. So, it was pretty damn good. Only had only issues I had were the ladder match. Because, eh. Cena winning. Eh. And Divas match. Because, eh, I don't know. It takes them a while to get through shit. And to actually build it up. Yeah. Sting versus Triple H, I said it was amazing. <laughs> Retrospectively, Sting should have won that shit. Brock versus Roman was epic despite the ending. I'm guessing Roman won that shit. I like Brock. He's good shit. Randy versus Seth was good. Probably the most underrated match in that. Wyatt versus Taker, that was pretty interesting to say the least. The Rock and Ronda Rousey, that was some cool shit. I love that. And the performances of Skylar Gray, Travis Barker, and Kid Ink were great, too. It was great seeing a pay-per-view that wasn't horrible like the others I've seen. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I'm not interested in re-watching it at all, because honestly... Eh, they're good, but then not that good. You know, like, it's great, but... So, if you like WrestleMania 31, cool. If you didn't, I get it. Um, yeah, WWE has a history of making good matches, but with shit endings. <laughs> so, on to the next. <laughs>